Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over a quick video on how we can automate Python tasks to occur daily using a service called Python Anywhere. Let's jump over to a browser to get started. Here on our browser I have the service Python Anywhere pulled up. I just created a brand new account so this is what it will look like whenever you do too. The first thing we need to do is to create our Python script that we want to run daily. Go ahead and click the files tab towards the top of the screen. From here we need to enter a new file name. I'll call mine daily.py. Once you've created your file, you need to put in whatever task you want to automate. This can be something like scraping a web page and sending you an email that has all the data on that web page. Or it can be something much more complex, like getting data from a cloud service and creating a report to send out to your colleagues. For now, we're just going to create something simple so we can see how it works. So let's say from date time, import date time, and then with open datetime.now.strf time and then specify our file name so this will be let's say day and then month and then year close that comma and then as file now we just need to write something to the file that way we can see it work so let's say file.write and then let's put, we automated this using Python and Python anywhere. Go ahead and save your file. Now let's run the file to make sure it works. We didn't get an error, so that's probably a good sign. Let's go check out our files. And in our files, we see that we have a new file that we just created using that script. Just as we expected, it's got the text that we put into that Python script. But let's see how we can automate that script to happen every day at the same time. So let's go back to the Python script that we just created by clicking files and then going to daily.py. We need to copy this directory. So command C. Then we need to go to the button tasks. Open up your tasks. Input that directory. Get rid of anything extra. And now we just need to specify a time that we want this script to run. Since it's 2.41 right now, let's put this script to run at 2.43 and create the task. We'll go back to our files. I'll delete this one, that way we can see whenever the new one is created. Delete, okay. And now I'll speed up the video. 2,000 years later. Now that it's past 2.43, let's refresh the page and see if the new file has been created. Once we refresh, we see that a new file is there. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope it helps you out in some way. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them